What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be checking my bearings and my blade spindles. I got two bearings in this one, two bearings in this one. And a lot of people are telling me that the grease I'm putting in my blade spindles is not even going to the bearings. And I've also seen videos on people showing the same thing. So I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna check my bearings. And while I'm doing it, I can show you how to fix the problem. Both of your blade spindles has a Zerk fitting right down here. Now they're saying when you put grease in there, it's not even going to the two bearings that you have in here because they're sealed bearings. So I'm gonna take this out and check them. Same with this one. There's another Zerk fitting right there. So since I have my deck off, just change my blade break because this one was wore out. I might as well check these bearings. All right, first I gotta take this nut off. Set that aside. Take this belt off. I'll get it out of your way. Now here's your blade spindle. Now I have to take this jack shaft, which is connected right to my blade, out of the blade spindle. Put your nut back on there so you don't mess the threads up and use a hammer and tap on it. Make sure the blade is not sitting on something down there. It's gotta be able to pop right out. Get that out. There's your blade. Now I'm going to top my bottom bearing out. There's a piece in here that kind of floats around. Slide that to the side. Take a punch. Just tap on it. it should pop right out. This piece is in between the two bearings, at least on my mower. Now you can see where all the grease was. I wiped some of it off. And this is my bearing. Definitely wasn't getting any grease to it. There's a cover right where all the ball bearings are at in there. So none of the grease is getting to that. So we are gonna take one of these covers off and then I can put it back in. And I'll do the same with this one. Let me pop this bearing out. Now because these bearings are sealed on both sides, all that grease that I'm putting into that, the spindle here is not getting to my bearings. So eventually these bearings are probably gonna wear out. So I am gonna take off one of these seals and then put it back in with the seal I took off where you can see the ball bearings inside. I will make sure that faces toward the inside of the blade spindle. Now mine came, this one was on top, had a black and a black. I don't know if, how much this matters, but the bottom one was black on one side and silver on the other. So I'm gonna take this black cover off with a utility knife. Just pop it down in there. Careful you don't cut yourself. That should pop right out. Just like that. Luckily my mower is not too old and my bearings look real nice. Now that, I'm gonna put the bottom one in first because I gotta put this in and it doesn't fit through there. So that's the top one. Now for some reason, this one looks a little different. I'm gonna pop that black cover off. It looks like I got a little bit of that grease in there. I'll be able to get a lot more in now. Now I'm gonna tap that back up in from underneath. <clears throat> I 
Maybe clean that out a little bit. And when you get all this done, I would re-grease it. There. Easy. Tap that one in. Now, Now I can see the ball bearings down in there. Right down in there. So I got that in. And I'm gonna drop this piece back down in. And I'm gonna take my other bearing that I, and put that, make sure that part on the bottom I put it up in like that. Now on the top, I'm gonna to put it down like this. Just gently tap. Tap that around. There you go. Tap it down in there a little more. Oh, there we go. You'll feel that seat when you get it all the way in. And take your blade and put your blade back up through. And this piece on. Now you're going to want that blade to lay on something. I have mine on saw horses, so now it stays there. So I can tap that back in. If you have another socket, you can get that on a little further. I'm putting a piece of wood down underneath. See, Steve's Small Engine Saloon has a video on this, but they don't show you everything. Let me show you underneath. I know it's still not completely together. I can see it. I'm going to put a, a board right there so my blade is pushing against that board onto this sawhorse or onto the table, wherever you have this. And I can take this socket. All right, make sure when you put your pulley back on, you gotta push this brake over. Same with this pulley. Push your brake over. Then you can put the nut back on. That's it. Well, I hope this video helped you out in fixing John Deere's flaw. So now your bearings will last you a lot longer than if you never put no grease in them, or if you think you're putting grease in them, but really you're not. So please give me a thumbs up if this helped you out. Leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Thank you very much. God bless and have a great day.